Hello children. Today our lesson is rectilinear plane figures. Firstly children, we will learn about what are these straight line segments and curved line segments because with the help of these straight lines and curved lines only we can draw figures different types of figures okay so after identifying these two we will learn about what are plane figures and what are rectilinear plane figures right you can identify straight line segments see these three are the examples for straight lines okay they don't have any curved shape okay then what are curved line segments see these three are the examples for curved line segments we can see small curves okay small curves can be seen in these lines so with the help of these two line segments these two types of line segments we can draw different types of figures okay so we will know about plane figures now how do we form plane figures you know this is a flat surface this white body is a flat surface if we can draw a figure on this flat surface with the help of curved line segments and straight line segments so such type of figures are called plane figures why on a plane no we drew on a flat surface only we have drawn those things with the help of what with the help of straight line segments and curved line segments okay here i have given you few examples for plane figures not rectilinear these are just plane figures this figure has only straight line segments this one also has only straight line segments this one has straight line segments and also one curved line is there so no problem this is a plane figure it has straight line segments and also curved line this one has only curved line segments so remember that children in plane figures there can be only straight line segments or else only curved lines or else curved lines and straight lines both can be there okay children you learnt about plane figures now right so i brought this one from the kitchen a line okay when we consider this is it a plane figure if I am drawing a figure of a line, a figure of a ball, uh, is it a plane figure then? No. Why is that? It doesn't have any plane. It hasn't drawn on a plane surface. On a flat surface only we can draw plane figures. Okay. So this doesn't have any flat surface. So it is not a plane figure. Right. So here we need to learn about another two things. What are those? Close plane figures and open figures what are these closed plane figures with the help of the name even we can identify them right the figures here i have drawn few figures these figures are completely bounded by line segments no by straight line segments or by curved line segments so anyhow these three figures are completely bounded by line segments straight or curved so such type of figures are called closed plane figures here i have given you the definition also figures which are completely bounded by line segments these line segments can be curved or straight remember that okay then next one open figures the figures which are not completely bounded here these are open see these are open figures so remember the figures which are not completely bounded by line segments are called what? Open figures. Right. Now children we will learn about rectilinear plane figures. Earlier you learnt about what are plane figures. Plane figures means what? On a flat surface if we can draw figures with straight line segments or curved line segments those are plane figures now we are going to learn about rectilinear plane figures now what are the special features of rectilinear plane figures here look at these four examples which i have drawn in black color all these are closed figures right are they open no they are completely bounded by line segments line segments what type of line segments they are completely bounded by only straight line segments so those are the two special features what are those close plane figures they must be close plane figures 
and must contain only straight line segments. So remember, closed figures which are bounded only by straight line segments like this, they are called rectilinear plane figures. Then, children, look at these two figures. Is this a rectilinear plane figure? We can see only straight line segments. Okay, but there is a small problem here. What is that? This is not a closed figure. This is an open figure. This is an open figure. So, if it is open, this is not a rectilinear plane figure. Why is that? Because I told you they must be closed figures. Rectilinear figures must be closed figures. So, this is not a rectilinear plane figure. Next one. We can see this is completely bounded. This is not a open figure this is a closed figure but there is a small problem here what is that we can see a curved line segment the problem is in rectilinear plane figures we can see only we can observe only straight line segments so this is also not a rectilinear plane figure why is that because a curved line is there now children we will learn about the elements of a rectilinear plane figure right what are the elements of a rectilinear plane figure the sides and the angles what are these sides in a rectilinear plane figure there are straight line segments no so those straight line segments are called sides okay so sides are one of the elements in a rectilinear plane figure and the next one is angle angles are also elements of a rectilinear plane figure we know when two sides meet, when two sides meet at a vertex, an angle can be formed. Okay, so remember angles, four angles can be seen in this quadrilateral and four sides are also there. So the sides and the angles are the elements of a rectilinear plane figure. Okay, children, in this grade, children, under rectilinear plane figures, mainly we learn about triangles and quadrilaterals. There are some more rectilinear plane figures, but specially we learn we will learn about these two types of rectilinear plane figures. Okay, at least to draw to draw a rectilinear plane figure, a closed plane figure, at least how many straight lines are needed? We need at least three because we know with one straight line we cannot draw any rectilinear plane figure. With two straight lines even we cannot draw any rectilinear plane figure because this is open one now with three straight line segments of course we can draw a rectilinear plane figure so remember to draw a rectilinear plane figure at least we need three straight line segments so a rectilinear plane figure which is drawn with three straight line segments is called what a triangle here I have drawn a triangle. In this triangle, how many angles are there, children? See, these are called the angles. No, I told you when two straight lines are meeting at a point, we can form an angle. So, how many angles are there? Three angles. How many sides are there? I told you the straight line segments in a rectilinear plane figure are called sides. No, so how many such sides are there? There are three sides. They are same, no, the number of angles and the number of sides are equal here. And the other one is vertices. I know that you, I, I think that you know about vertices also, these corner points. There are three vertices also, right? Next, with the help of four straight line segments, we can form rectilinear plane figures. So, remember a rectilinear plane figure which is made with four straight line segments is called what a quadrilateral see i have drawn with with two different colors i have drawn this because there is a reason i will explain about it later but when there are two straight line segments like this a cl closed figure that is called a quadrilateral in this quadrilateral how many angles are there there are four angles how many sides there are four sides so children, why have I drawn these sides with two different colors? So children, these, two, these are called opposite sides. You can see they are face to face, no? They are not meeting each other, right? But we can see these two are meeting. 
and again these two are meeting the lines the sides in a correlator the sides which are not meeting each other are called opposite sides so this is one pair of opposite sides a pair has two no a pair has two sides so this is one pair of opposite sides so these two are opposite sides and the other one is blue color one these two are also opposite sides why is that because they are not meeting each other at this moment so this is another pair so in correlateral children in any correlateral there are two pairs of opposite sides this is one pair this is the other pair right so with the help of these opposite sides with the help of the angles and sides we will learn about different types of correlaterals now children we will learn about different types of correlaterals and their properties also remember that children mainly if there are no any special feature for a correlateral for a four sided one four sided rectilinear plane figure that is called a correlateral in common for four sided figures okay but if they have any special features we can give a specific name for them so according to that we can categorize quadrilaterals into five what are those squares rectangles rhombus parallelograms and trapeziums okay firstly we will learn about square see i have given a figure of a square in this square children we know that all the sides are equal all the sides are equal in length and all the angles are also equal and their values are what right angles right 90 degrees so all the sides are equal all the angles are right angles that means they are equal okay and the other one is the gap earlier we learned about opposite sides right there are two pairs of this is one pair this is the other pair there are two pairs of opposite sides so the gap the gap between the two pairs of opposite sides is every time a constant constant means that value doesn't change it has a fixed value so we can see that the gap between these two opposite sides is same every time it is one length it doesn't change okay but when we consider these two line segments see what is the gap between these two it can't be told right it changes every time but here when we draw two lines like parallel ones their gap is every time same so remember in a square the gap between opposite sides is a constant the next one is a rectangle in this rectangle children all the sides are not equal only opposite sides are equal see these face to face sides are equal right this one this pair and this pair separately they are equal so remember only opposite sides are equal all the angles are also equal they are right angles so remember all the angles are right angles and what can you tell about the gap the gap between these opposite sides it's a constant okay the gap between these two opposite sides is a constant when we consider these two also yes the gap is a constant so remember those three features next one rhombus how can we form a rhombus children see when we give a small hit to the square it becomes slanted right so this rhombus in this rhombus also all the sides are equal like square in square all the sides are equal no? so in rhombus also all the sides are equal but can we tell all the angles are equal it's clear that this is a this is an acute angle this is an obtuse angle so the angles are not equal no need to mention it only sides are equal here and what can you tell about the gap between the opposite sides yes the gap is also same yes they are slanted like this anyhow the gap between those two opposite sides is same no so the gap is same there next one is a parallelogram how can we form a parallelogram for a rectangle when we give a small hit it becomes slanted like that we can form a parallelogram so in this parallelogram also only opposite sides are equal like rectangle in rectangle opposite sides are equal no so here also opposite sides are equal 
then angles are equal no angles are not equal then what can you tell about the gap there the gap between the opposite side is also a constant next trapezium last one many students cannot identify trapeziums easily right why is that see firstly we will identify the features of them in trapezium most of the time in tra trapezium sides are not equal angles are not equal like these four okay but there is a special thing what is that only in one pair of sides only in one pair of opposite sides the gap is constant a gap the gap is a constant okay but in the other pair the gap is not a constant see are there any special things that we can take from sides are sides equal no are angles equal no can't tell anything but when we look at these two sides see what can you tell about their gap see the gap between those two opposite sides is every time so when we produce even the gap is same okay but consider these two opposite sides here i will draw you i will draw here and show you these two are the other two sides no see the gap between these two every time the gap is changing right see the gap is increasing when we go down the gap is decreasing when we go up if we produce the two sides so remember only one pair of opposite side we can see the gap is a constant but in the other pair no look at this one this is also a trapezium so can you identify the pair of opposite sides which has the same gap are these two the two opposite sides no we can see the gap p is not same but when we consider these two lines see when we produce even it goes same right they are parallel they look parallel so only these two sides have the have a constant gap so those are called trapeziums